I told y'all I was gonna be back for another video. Well, guess what, bitches? I'm back. We get high like it's Friday. So I'm teach you back with another video. And today, I'm gonna show y'all how to pasteurize y'all. You got the jars going, and all of a sudden, everything's good until you put it in the substrate. Uh -huh. You still run into trichoderma. You still running into black cobweb mode. It's probably because your substrate ain't cold. Oh. Today, I'm going to teach you how to get away from that shit. See, pasteurization is different from sterilization. Uh -huh. When you pasteurize your shit like milk, you heat it up to a certain temperature to where it gets rid of all the bad bacteria. When you sterilize it, you get rid of all the bacteria. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to get rid of some of the bacteria. Good bacteria can help your mushrooms grow. So let me show you how to do that shit. We coming in with a turkey team. Hey, you talking about? And this video, I'm bringing my little helper along. This is my beautiful daughter, Ari. Hello. I actually been teaching her how to cook, so today I'll be teaching her how to bake. Now, it's a lot of things that bring me joy in life, man, but there's nothing more joyous than spending time with my little girl. <laughs> now, all you need is your turkey tin and the CVG substrate I showed you how to make. Huh? Now, if you don't know what CVG is, in my last video, I explained what CVG is and what it does for your mushrooms. If you don't have CVG, refer to my last video. Man, it's things like this I enjoy doing with my daughter. Uh, my baby was crying for a glove, so I had to go ahead and stop the video and get her one. As you can see, she has a glove. Well, kind of halfway on, but she gets the gist of it. Just the simple things, you know? Look at her, just happy to play with some dirt. And even though she's making a mess and getting dirt everywhere all over my stove, I don't mind cleaning it up. I love creating memories with her. Now we're going to spread our substrate evenly. Make sure you pat it down and get it real nice and compact so that the middle of the soil can hold the temperature the correct way. So try to get all the gaps in the holes out of it. Now you're gonna need something to gauge the inside of the substrate temperature. I bought me a little meat thermometer on Amazon. This bitch work wonders, man, I swear to God. You ain't gotta get fancy and spend a lot on one of these. You can go the cheap route. You just need something to keep the temperature. Now we want the ideal temperature to be somewhere between 140 and 160. Anything under 140, then I can't guarantee you'll get the results you want. Anything over 160, well, then you enter the sterilization zone. <laughs> so here's what you do. You crank your oven up to 350. Wait till it hits the desired temperature that you want, and then you can reduce the temperature to about 210 degrees. Side story, man. My grandma used to say, don't you take your little mother in that kitchen and dance around while I got that cake uh -huh. in the oven. Fuck around and beat the dog uh -huh. out y'all. It's every last month one of y'all. <sighs> Good time. Now once it reached the desired temp, that's when you'll start the timer. Cook time? Mmm, preferably three hours. Damn! Now when you let your substrate chill, and I do suggest you let it chill till it get to room temperature once it come out the oven. You got two options. You can put it back in your bucket and save it for later use, or you can put it in bags like you see me doing. The reason I put it in bags is because I sell substrate all over the U.S. These also make for good mushroom fruiting blocks. You primarily use fruiting blocks for when you're growing gourmet mushrooms. Mushrooms like pink oysters, what? blue oysters, what? turkey tail, what? reishi, what? lion's mane, what? bear head, what? chicken of the woods, what? turkey of the woods, etc. etc. Yeah. Just make sure you store your bags in a cool, dry place. And also make sure they're all the way completely sealed so you won't let any bacteria or germs inside your bag. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Hey. And just like that, you got some pasteurized substrate. I hope this video was helpful for y'all today. Man, y'all know how to pasteurize y'all substrate. This is gonna help y'all cut down on contamination, trichoderma, You already know I'm gonna tell you to subscribe. Do it! Just do it! So click the subscribe button. Do it. We get high like it's Friday.